In this video, I will show you how to make your way around Windows Explorer, how to create new files and folders, also how to move them. I will also cover other options such as cut, copy, and paste, rename, and delete. To begin with, we'll click on start and then left click on my computer. Here it shows the different partitions you have for your hard disk. Also, any devices that you have installed, such as DVD drive. We'll start by left clicking on the C drive, which is the primary drive for most computers. We'll start off by creating a new folder by right clicking and then click folder, new and folder. Here it immediately gives you the option to rename. It will name this folder one. Uh, another way of doing it is right clicking, click and rename. Also, by just left clicking, once you have it highlighted, left click again. And there you go. Alright, we will start by highlighting and right click and click copy. What it does is creates an exact copy of the folder or anything you have highlighted to uh, put the copy down somewhere you would click paste and here is a, it's already named folder one it adds copy to it and we'll highlight right click rename and call it folder two you're able to post uh, paste as many as you would like rename folder 3 folder 4 okay now let's cover cut highlight right click and click cut and see it kind of makes the icon a little opaque or transparent sorry Let's click on folder one, right click and click paste. The difference between cut and copy is cut removes the original file and puts it here. It acts just like moving it. And to move files and folders, let's highlight folder three. Click and hold with the left click and drag to where you'd like and an option pops up to move to folder one. We'll do the same with folder four. Double click on folder one and here are the folders that you moved. Uh, let's try it again, let's click cut, go back, click paste, and here is folder two again. And it's no longer in folder one. All right, click and hold, move. Another way of doing cut, copy, and paste we we'll click uh, our keyboard shortcuts. You would hold down Control and C for copy. Let's go back and Control V to paste. You can paste as many as you would like. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, paste. Oh, okay. They already named that. Okay, I get it. All right, let's move it back to folder one. Uh, that's right, we did a copy, so the original is still there. All right, let's go back, click folder three, and to cut, you would click Control and hold it down and press X. See, it made it transparent. Let's go back. And you can either Control V and paste it, or simply right click and then go into paste. <coughs> All right. Say we'd like to delete the contents of folder one. Highlight, Oops. right click, and go to delete. It prompts you if you want to move it to the recycling bin, which doesn't immediately get rid of it. So if you accidentally do this, you can just click on recycle bin and then restore it. Another way of deleting is to click and highlight and just pressing the delete key 
on the keyboard, which I find is the easiest way. All right, let's go back. All right, let's delete folder two along with folder three. Some other options, if you highlight and right click, you can open, which it works as double clicking, open a new window. Also have the options to share with other people in your home group if you have Windows 7. Right here is where most WinZip and WinRoar options are put. Also have any virus protection or internet security options. Um, you can include in your library if you have home group. Uh, you have the option to send to a compressed folder, uh, desktop, it creates a shortcut, any other drives or email. Here's the cut, copy, create shortcut, which you can put anywhere, uh, the delete option, and the rename option. You also have the properties, which you can go in and click and change the different options for the files. Okay, that just about covers it. Thank you.